Hello everyone and welcome to another Your Key Bits and Bob's Home Tech. Today we have another unboxing and hopefully it's that. A microphone, it's a desktop microphone. It should be a desktop mi microphone. I haven't actually took it out of the box yet. I always try and leave it in the box. But obviously if I get too many boxes to turn up, then it could be awkward and I'd have to take it out of the main box. So it's about the right size for packaging but we'll find out in a minute because I haven't actually opened it yet, like I just said. So it should be about the right size packaging. Uh, it feels quite light, so I wouldn't have thought it'd be that heavy, the microphone. It should have anti-slip on it as well, which would be a bonus, because you don't want it sliding away when you're trying to press a button or something, do you? So uh, I'll shut up now, and we'll uh, get it out of the box, and then we can talk about the product. I've got my knife already ready. Right, so you should always do it away from you if you can, when you're cutting. I didn't on the first cut, I do apologise. And hopefully that's that. And it is. Actually, it's smaller than I thought it would be. But that's not a bad thing, is it? But move that out of the way. So let's have a look around the box. There's nothing really to see much. A uh, picture of the microphone with a USB connection on one side. Uh, it says a ZYH Electronic Technology Code Limited on that side and that's about it so just a plain box really uh, quite strong so it protects the product inside and that's what a box is supposed to do it's supposed to protect the product inside which is what it's doing and give you an idea what's in the box which it has so let's get it out of the box and see what you're going to get for your money it cost me just under 15 pound 14 14.99 on amazon.co.uk and I'll uh, stick a link in the description in case you decide you want to buy one. So what do we have? Well, basically we have the instructions, user, ma user manual, and uh, I wouldn't thought you'd have much information there. Find device manager. So this is a plug and play, by the way. You just plug it in and play. That's the theory. We will test it and find out. But I'm sure, yeah, nothing much to see in there, so I'm not going to show you much. So, yeah, like I said, it's well protected. As a gooseneck feature, yeah, bendable gooseneck. Let's get it out. And I would have thought that was probably it. Looking at that, I'll say that's it. I'll chuck that out of the way. Right, let's have a look. So there's an on-off button. See that? Down, um, or is that a mute button? Probably, yeah, mute button. Sorry, I do apologise. Mute button. Gooseneck, so you can. It's very flexible, easy to use. Looks like quite a long lead, which is nice. Got a little rubber feet on it, so it's anti-slip. Oh, that's quite good actually. It's quite sturdy. Yeah, so you can do it at any angle. I'll show you a couple of pictures. There you go. Turn it around 360 degree, as you would have thought anyway, with a gooseneck. Uh, plug and play. And on off button indicator light there, so it tells you when it's on. That's a little LED light. So first impressions, it looks quite nice. It's only £15, pound, or just under £15, pound, so you get what you pay for. And um, microphones are getting cheaper and cheaper all the time, and some of the cheap ones, as good a quality as some of the more expensive ones. So yeah, let's see how long this lead is. So probably just over a metre. I'm going to measure it up and let you know. Right, I've had a quick measure up. It's 114 centimetres, which is about 45 inches for old school. And I'm old school, yeah I know. So yes, yeah, uh, reasonable length. So this is ideal for plugging in your PC, it will work on a Mac as well, or a laptop, anything like that. This should be just plug and play and away you go. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we're going to test it. We're going to plug it into my PC and uh, we're going to test out the quality. So give me a second, I'll set it all up. Right, so the microphone's all plugged in. And what we're going to do now, I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, do your adjustments in case you need to do it. Uh, so first of all you need to go click on the little speaker in the bottom right hand corner this is on uh, Windows 10 by the way so go click right click and go open sound settings 
like so and then sound controller click on that and then you want to go to recording so click on that and as you can see it's picked up straight away so it's this top one here and there's two ways you can do it you can either click on properties or you can just right click and go to properties and then you can actually listen to yourself if you tick that make sure you've got your volume of your speakers turned down click, click apply, apply and you should get like a double feedback like you can hear now so you can actually sort out the sound see how it sounds um, and then go to levels and it is where you can adjust your levels so you can turn it right down and what's that that's right down to zero and 50 and you've got to play about it get the balance have a listen to it see how it sounds and then you'll know whether you're going to pick up background uh, sound it will pick up some background sounds and all speakers do anyway i've not found a set that will eliminate any background sound and only pick up your voice not yet anyway you know there might be one out there but i've not seen it so i'm going to turn off listening to myself so that's set at 50 percent i'm going to apply that so it's turned off my uh, listening so i can't hear myself now and my uh, microphone settings are just hitting the yellows so i have a green yellow and red red is too high greens is ideal but needs to be near the top end and yellows nearly perfect so it's just hitting the yellow so we're about perfect and i've got a quite a nice distance away it's not right if you have it up close it's going to be horrible sound uh, so that's just beyond my keyboard now and i've got the mic pointing towards me and i think it yeah, looks pretty good but i haven't obviously listened to it so we're going to have a listen to it right now on playback well i've had a listen to the recording and i thought the sound quality was excellent well worth anyone's 15 pound if you're looking for a desktop microphone i can highly recommend this one it gets my thumbs up i thought the sound quality was excellent it's easy to set up plug and play go into your settings adjust the microphone settings bring her down a bit or whatever you need to do have a play about it get it just right and yeah brilliant easy to uh, fold up so if you want to stick it in your bag if you've got a small bag and you want to take it around with you it's easy to fold up it's perfect for chatting uh, whether you're doing youtube videos live streaming or chatting to your friends on something like discord team speak or whatever i can highly recommend this one very easy to set up and that's an on off button so on, it flashes for a little bit while it's making its connection. Once it's solid green, uh, away you go. Sorted, job done. Turn it off, just let the button pop up and it's off. So yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up. And uh, if you have any comments, please post them below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Ta-da!